Glufosinate, Wikipedia Audio Glufosinate is a naturally occurring broad-spectrum systemic herbicide produced by several species of Streptomyces soil bacteria. Plants also metabolize Biolafos, another naturally occurring herbicide, directly into glufosinate. The compound irreversibly inhibits glutamine synthetase, an enzyme necessary for the production of glutamine and for ammonia detoxification, giving it antibacterial, antifungal and herbicidal properties. Application of glufosinate to plants leads to reduced glutamine and elevated ammonia levels in tissues, halting photosynthesis, resulting in plant death. In the 1960s and early 1970s, scientists at University of Tübingen and at the Meiji Seek Acacia Company independently discovered that species of Streptomyces bacteria produce a tripeptide they called Biolafos that inhibits bacteria, it consists of two alanine residues and a unique amino acid that is an analogue of glutamate that they named phosphonothricin. 90 They determined that phosphonothricin irreversibly inhibits glutamine synthetase. 90 Phosphonothricin was first synthesized by scientists at Hookst in the 1970s as a racemic mixture. This racemic mixture is called glufosinate and is the commercially relevant version of the chemical. 9192 in the late 1980s scientists discovered enzymes in these Streptomyces species that selectively inactivate free phosphonothricin, the gene encoding the enzyme that was isolated from Streptomyces hygroscopicus was called the Biolafos resistance or BAR gene, and the gene encoding the enzyme in Streptomyces viridochromio genes was called phosphonothricin acetyltransferase or PAT. Dot. 98 The two genes and their proteins have 80% homology on the DNA level and 86% amino acid homology, and are each 158 amino acids long. 98 Discovery Glufosinate is a broad spectrum herbicide that is used to control important weeds such as morning glories, hemp sesbania, Pennsylvania smartweed, and yellow nutsage similar to glyphosate. It is applied to young plants during early development for full effectiveness. It is sold in formulations under brands including Basta, Rely, Finale, Challenge and Liberty. Glufosinate is typically used in three situations as an herbicide. Directed sprays for weed control, including in genetically modified crops, use as a crop desiccation to facilitate harvesting. Glufosinate also has shown to provide some protection against various plant diseases, as it also acts to kill fungi and bacteria on contact. Genetically modified crops resistant to glufosinate were created by genetically engineering the bar or pat genes from Streptomyces into the relevant crop seeds. 98 and 1995 The first glufosinate resistant crop, canola, was brought to market, and it was followed by corn in 1997, cotton in 2004, and soybeans in 2011. Phosphonothricin is a glutamine synthetase inhibitor that binds to the glutamate site. Glufosinate-treated plants die due to a buildup of ammonia in the thylakoid lumen, leading to the uncoupling of photophosphorylation. The uncoupling of photophosphorylation causes the production of reactive oxygen species, lipid peroxidation, and membrane destruction. Elevated levels of ammonia are detectable within one hour after application of phosphonothricin. As glufosinate is often used as a pre-harvest desiccant, residues can also be found in foods that humans ingest. Such foods include potatoes, peas, beans, corn, wheat, and barley. In addition, the chemical can be passed to humans through animals who are fed contaminated straw. 
Flour processed from wheat grain that contained traces of glyphosinate was found to retain 10 to 100 percent of the chemical's residues. The herbicide is also persistent, it has been found to be prevalent in spinach, radishes, wheat and carrots that were planted 120 days after the treatment of the herbicide. Its persistent nature can also be observed by its half-life which varies from 3 to 70 days depending on the soil type and organic matter content. Residues can remain in frozen food for up to two years and the chemical is not easily destroyed by cooking the food item in boiling water. The EPA classifies the chemical as persistent and mobile based on its lack of degradation and ease of transport through soil. There are no exposure limits established by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration or the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists. The WHO-FAO recommended acceptable daily intake for glyphosinate is 0.02 mg kg. The European Food Safety Authority has set an ADI of 0.021 mg kg. The acute reference dose for childbearing women is 0.021 mg kg. Use Glyphosinate is a United States Environmental Protection Agency EPA registered chemical. It is also a California registered chemical. It is not banned in the country and it is not a pig pesticide. There are no exposure limits established by OSHA or the American Conference of Governmental Industrial Hygienists. Glyphosinate is registered for use as an herbicide in Europe. It was last reviewed in 2007 and that registration was set to expire in 2018. It has been withdrawn from French markets since October 24, 2017 by the ANSES, French National Agency for Sanitary and Security for Food, Work and Environment, due to its classification as a possible reprotoxic chemical. Genetically Modified Crops Mode of Action Toxicity Exposure to Humans and Foods Exposure Limits Regulation